What's up, guys? For now, we're wrapping up our look at Siege with Optimus Prop. Optimus burps a lot. I mean, Prime. But yes, every starting toy line has to have a hop. Has a hop. What do I. Has to have an Optimus Prime. Was the words I wanted to come out of my mouth. Like Combiner Wars, Titans Return, freaking Power of the Primes gave us, where is he? Gave us the most recent good version of Optimus Prime. Can you think this toy line, Power of the Primes, only lasted like two waves at most? Like it only gave us, what? Two combiners. No, three combiners. So it was three waves. And at the time, I thought this was the best Optimus Prime, because it looks like Optimus Prime. It, uh, it has the gimmick of the smaller robot. It has the Matrix. It has some good stuff. But that's a leader price point. We need a better Optimus Prime at a smaller price point. I'm not sure I think the leaders it gave us, because it gave us Optimus Prime, Rodimus Prime, Optimo Optimus, and then black repaints of Optimus and Rodimus. Which I have never seen in store. I've never seen the Black Opti Black Convoy or Rodimus uh, Unicronus in a Canadian toy store. I think I saw them at a... The only place I've seen them... I have to think was a fan expo when I went, was there working, but the, here's the guy who promises to be our next best classic style of Voyager Optimus Prime. Here's the package with a cool action shot of Optimus. Here's another picture with Optimus. Optimus and Optimus and Optimist and be an Optimist. Be an Optimist. Here's the instructions. And here is the action figure. I don't know why I started an accent. And then it became a different accent. But let's take his weapons away. And actually, this guy is... Is good. Is good. Is, ac is quite good, actually. He's a lot better, well, I don't know if he's a lot better than people are willing to give him credit for, but a lot of people, when they see an Optimus, they go, not again. And people went, people said the same thing with this guy, until they got him in hand and realized he is actually quite a good and fun toy. So, let's look at the head sculpt. It is classic, pretty much perfect Optimus Prime at this scale. Nice blue eyes. Oh, they're metallic blue eyes. So they're not... I wish they were either light piped or like a brighter shade. But at least they're not dead looking. Uh, he's got an Autobot insignia on his left shoulder. I guess that's appropriate. That's right. He's got his wheels and his uh, kidneys. He does have a little bit of arm kibble. And like a, a back panel. That hides the proper front of his truck mode, because that's how he cheats, and st uh, this guy cheats, because Optimus Prime always has to has to cheat somehow. I think what pe I don't know if people are getting over is like sick of Optimus because of the new Masterpiece version that's coming out, like the third version of Masterpiece Optimus that's coming out. But you know, this is only my second Voyager Optimus. 
third. Because I have the Classics one and the uh, Age of Extinction, uh, what was it, Evasion Mode Optimus that came in a two-pack. And then this guy, and I have the Leader Class, and I have the Deluxe Orion Packs. But that's about it for my Optimus Primes. He's got his iconic yellow crotch detail. He's got a ton of uh, battle markings on his arms, on his thighs. Well, just on his arms and thighs. And honestly, it still doesn't bother me, because he's Optimus Prime. He's the leader. He's in battle every single day. He's bound to get scratched up. I don't get why people don't like it. He also has some options, like fold out things that pretend to be weapons, but are just actually bits of his car mode. Or his truck mode. People complain because a truck's not a, a truck's not a car. It's a truck. He's got he's got all the iconic detailing you expect for an Optimus Prime, with the red, white, the gray, and the blue, and the silver, and the smokestack on each side, which actually have a port in them, so you could ah plug his gun like that if you wanted to. I don't know why you want to. You can plug it in there as well, plug it in his hand, plug it in, and he can shoot from the shin, I guess, and he can, and he can plug it into each foot, which is pointless, because he doesn't, he folds up his feet for transformation, so what is the, well, I guess if you want to use, uh, the wep, the weaponizer stuff, I guess if you want to use COG, you can. Hmm. Articulation-wise, his head can move up a little, move down. Full rotation. I'm not sure if it's on a ball joint. One of my issues with this Optimus is this panel doesn't, like, it doesn't lock in place. That's unfor And it's an unfortunate thing, because everything else is so nice, it kind of makes this stand out a bit more. That and the chest boobs don't really like they open for transformation and you could theoretically stick a matrix in there but it's just for his his head to go but like those don't well, like tab in or stay secure shoulders are on a butterfly joint for transformation somebody's trying to rob a car uh, can go in and out and thankfully the smokestacks are on a hinge Okay, that's just comical at that point. At this point. Oh, there it went. Uh, he does have a bicep swivel. It's on a... It's not on a mushroom peg. I don't know what it's on. Can't see the joints. But he does have also a... Beyond 90 degree elbow bend. And he actually has a wrist swivel. Which is not part of the transformation. Which is very nice, because he has an axe. He has a waist swivel. It's nice for people with melee weapons to have wrist swivels. Uh, thighs go about that far. I wish they went a bit far, but a bit farther forward. But it's due to the skirt, the his underwear being one piece, so I can let it go. He can move that far back. He can go completely outwards, a full Van Dam. can go some pretty epic kicks. You do have a thigh swivel at the knee. And you have a beyond 90 degree knee bend. Which is very nice. Not one he actually uses for transformation. So that's purely for friggin' tiger kneeing fools to death. And he has a inward toe bend. And uh, you can kind of do that. If you want, is a bit of foot articulation. So overall, pretty good range on his articulation. It, it's definitely up to siege standards, which is the best it's been in years. So here we have his axe. It's no longer an uh, ion a energon axe because it's the energon axe and the ion cannon. Uh, it's no longer made out of Energon, but it still looks cool. It's very much similar to his War for Cybertron Axe. I think that's the point. 
point, 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 point. I'm pointing at a point. Did I make my point clear? <laughs> uh, it's got a hinge, and the blade, to make it transform into, like, you can make it technically a shield, if you want. It can fold down into, uh, like, a buckler, if you want, that, that kind of thing. Uh, where is the uh, d d d hard point? It's got hard points on. Is it? Is it a hard point? Yeah, I think that's a hard point. Yeah, one right there. One right there. Friggin' one right there. One on each shoulder. Super Dead Megatron shot him. Because Megatron is the only one that seems to be able to kill Optimus Prime. And then I just... I cut to that... The the bloopers of Chad from Death Valley saying... Why, God... I'm gonna go... Like, He's a machine! We can... Uh, I'm not gonna quote the full thing, but... Go look it up. And the bloopers for Optimus Prime versus the Gundam. And then we have his usual Ion Blaster, which... Thankfully, is one is in one piece, unlike the leader class guides, Ion Cannon, Ion Blaster, whatever. And unfortunately, it does not have a hard point for like a muzzle flash. That would be cool if it had that right there. Instead, you just have to pretend. No, that doesn't work. But he can hold it like a boss. But, uh, let's get him into truck mode. So, to start, we're going to fold the feet down. Most of this involves, like, the start... It starts down with the legs, and then moves up to the arms, naturally, so... Sw mo uh, rotate the thigh around, fold that piece, and leave it like that. Fold that over, so the wheels are on the right spot. Do the same thing on the other side. Fold this piece out. Fold that back in. Fold those out. You're going to want to peg the legs in together at this point. And then you can uh, you can move that out of the way, and you're going to bring them all the way back. They're just... This piece just uh, pegs into his, cro his proper crotch. So he's starting to be more vehicular. Oh, and I missed a piece. These little things... Yeah. I didn't break... Are on hinges. So you want... It's in the instructions, so I have to show it. Fold them out, and then peg them together. And it gives you a little weapon storage in alt mode. So, now you're going to want to bring the shoulders out, bring the head down. You can rotate this panel, fold that up, fold these out, and then fold the proper trunk bumper up. You know, I give it credit, that is a, a lot of pieces to be in such a small space. Fold the headlights out, fold the shoulders back, and the elbows can bend. I'm sure I mentioned he has elbows. Ready, elbows. Come on. You gotta bring out the wheels. His wheels are... If there's anything that's tricky about this guy, is just getting the wheels out. There we go. Fold it all the way down, and you can leave it there in fake hover truck mode for right now. Fold that out. You want to put the arm behind his belly, and then fold that piece up. I say fold a lot, because I can't think of a better word. Do the same thing on the other side. And then bring this whole piece down, so it goes under the, the windows. Now you can close the windows and lock those pieces right there. And then these will, the headlights will tab into the grill and then you bring the wheels up into the resting position. And one of them on mine doesn't really like to stay unless it's in an angle like that. And then you want to tab the silver pieces into his thighs. Thunder thighs. And they also tab right above. 
if it'll, if it'll work for me. Come on, what are you doing? There we go. And there we go. Now, for weapons, what I like to do is I peg the gun back there, and then I, there's a port right there, so I tab the shield onto it. And it still does look like a gun on, like, just between his legs, but that's the best secure way I can think of doing that. And there you have his truck mode. And it's not perfect. It's not a perfect update of his G1 toy. Which, the G1 toy is in stores for goddamn $70. I'm not paying that much for a G1 Optimus Prime who doesn't do anything other than move his elbows and shoulders. He's not worth it. This guy, I'll take this guy for much for less, for around $40. Uh, yeah. He's a cool truck. The These pieces... It would look very much more accurate if, like, this piece is the only thing that kind of looks weird. But, like, it's necessary because it, it, it holds all of this, so I'm willing to let it slide. Uh, you can open the windows back up, and it looks like there's kind of a matrix right there. It, or at least it's supposed to. Unfortunately, it prevents the windows from ever closing. But overall, he's relatively kibble-free. You don't really see anything besides the feet. And even then, if you didn't know the feet folded up, it's not completely obvious. Unless you know how this prime works. Uh... For excess for storage, you can plug like let's say an axle looks stupid, but oh, I didn't even notice you you have another hard point on his axe at the at the hilt of his axe because if you're folding it like if you're holding it like this, that looks really stupid. So I guess it's more designed. To this is supposed to look like a second gun. Something like that. Uh, hard points are still on the shoulders. And now he has two right here on his legs. Like that. One on, one right there and one right there. Yeah. It, ro it rolls fairly well. Rolls free of any uh, hindrances. Put that back there. The other side, all you really see are his thighs. So he's pretty well transformed. Mm -hmm. Overall, I think he's a very good Voyager Optimus Prime. If you didn't pick up, let's say, the classic one. Or the Combiner Wars. Or the Titans Return. Or you want a slightly different sized Optimus other than your Power of the Primes. I've act com It's hilariously... At some of my local toy stores, Power of the Primes Deluxes are still on, s on store shelves. Like, they sold so little that they're freaking on there as they... It, 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 this is, that's why it took so long to get Titans Return... Or, Siege toys. It took mo months later because Power of the Primes was still on the store shelves. At least for me up here in Canada. But if you're not Optimus, if you're not tired of all Optimus Primes and you want a new Voyager one, he's better than expected. He he's definitely one you should check out. And that leaves me all caught up on Siege until I can finally find Ultra Magnus. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And keep it weird.